See, I knew he was a perp. I think that's that same perp that was um just about 20 minutes ago walked close, like so close up on me. And hold up. Come on. With these satanic bastards. So there was a perp. So so there was a, a a perp. Come on, man. There was no traffic before I did the damn started the damn video, and he got his elbow out the window. There was no cars passing by. Like, where y'all come from? Like five cars in a row. So. Look at him too. Dog, I can't even simply. Okay, so um, today is um, Sunday, September fourth, two thousand twenty-two, at um, twelve fifty-two p.m. So now it was about thirty minutes ago, <clears throat> and because it was like twelve twenty-three or twelve twenty-four, when <clears throat> they had this guy <clears throat> who had all that space over there. And he deliberately and on purpose walked um, so close to me that he could have stepped on me. He left that homeless perp around the corner. He left him alone. But he, this guy chose to, young ass kid, not child, but you know, a very young perp, you know. And I believe that that was him standing across the street on his phone. And he was wearing, the same guy was wearing all black. Like, and he wore, wore like a black um, polo shirt and black shorts and maybe some boots or something. <clears throat> and so he walked so close up on me that he could, that he acted like as if he was deliberately trying to walk on me or step on me or something. <clears throat> so I said, you, you know, I cussed him out and confronted him. And all he and he all he had like a proud, deceitful looking smile on his face saying, Good. So um he had like a proud, deceitful looking smile on his face and all he can do is say, Good like like as if he was proud to ins proud to insult me. Glad to insult me like as if I deserve it. So I don't know if this was homeless discrimination or if he did that because of course he's a perp. You know, harassing, doing that to harass a target when I would just started to doze off to try to go to sleep and thought I was going to get to sleep good. So this upset and agitated me enough that now I got to be alert and on, extra alert and on guard for the rest of the fucking night. As I said, I need I need to get permanent housing because all this freaking harassment and stuff is senseless. He didn't have to do that. And that. Perp in that van has strange tail lights. And they're still playing that fake ass fake ass drums. And look at these perps, they are acting stupid and talking loud on purpose. Two of them are wearing red. One of them ran over look, they they, they do their fucking activity near me. Like, and he's wearing like a red shirt and blue shorts and red shoes. Look at look at look at they showing off on purpose. They do not care. So you see, they forced me to. They're keeping me sleep deprived.
Mm. So y'all see why I can't get any sleep, right? I guess y'all get to hear a free fake concert. So, yeah, I mean, I can't even, I mean, and that, that homeless perp around the corner is sleeping so well, so fucking well. <laughs> look, look, look at them. They turn, they... How the fuck they get all over here? How do they get over here? And he, somebody freaking smoking near me, I can smell it. Well, I can smell him way from across the street, that's a damn shame. So this is, you know, the noise harassment, noise campaign, and other street theater activities to keep me sleep deprived and keep me awake. And if they don't, if they're not doing that, then they, then, you know, they'll do stuff like hit me with the director energy weapons to keep me forced awake. Like all three of y'all got, all three of them got fake ghetto Masonic red hair. All three of them, all three of them got fake ghetto Masonic red hair, and that's that same perp again, that um with the strange tail lights in that van. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I mean, how the hell all three of y'all walking by with red, fake red hair, Masonic fake red hair? But yeah, as I said, whoever gave me this sleeping bag, I think she did it to perp me, and I think that's why she got all defensive. So what, should I get, a, a dip, get my own sleeping bag and di get a different color sleeping bag? And that's why she got defensive. And I'm forced to be with a red sleeping bag now. And it, as I said, I can barely, I can barely fit in the thing. Uh. 
<sighs> but already I am borderline broke. I'm not broke yet, but I'm borderline broke. Getting close. I mean, I had to pay all the way up until, I'm not saying how much, but I had to pay all the way up until for December in order to get to take showers and don't even think I can take them every day. I think I only just a few days a week. It's like I got to go all the way on the opposite side of town, on the polar opposite side of town to go get a shower. And ride like three buses, three bus rides to get all the way across, you know. <clears throat> so how y'all expect me to sleep through all this? And I can smell more cigarette smell. And I wonder why did he why did that man start sleeping around the corner anyway? Like where he slept two nights ago or three or four nights ago, where he slept at? Because he he didn't sleep over here then. And now now I gotta deal with I mean that might be him freaking smoking. That's why I said I don't want other homeless sleeping near me because they be smoking. They leave stuff. And this is the third time this motherfucker. Oh, you got your proper taillights on this time. That's the games they play. You pass by with one funny taillights twice. And then the third time you pass by with proper taillights. And there go a damn kill soul. Yeah, somebody freaking smoking. I can smell it. And, and then, you know, other homeless, they'll, you know, you never know what criminal stuff they'll do to you. I mean, all kinds of things happen. That's why I do not want to sleep near any homeless camps or anything like that. That's why I've been having, you know, wanting to just stay off to myself, you know, I mean, a homeless perp, you know, if they're demon-possessed, they'll do stuff like stab you or something just because you say hello. And then they can get away with it. I mean, it's dangerous. So I, that's why I just stay off to myself. It's like, if you if you homeless... And you're a perp, you'd be more dangerous than somebody that's another homeless T.I. or something. Unless they're a fake T.I. perp. Yeah, that's... So that's what I gotta... Yeah, that's that motherfucker. Smoking. So that's what I got to freaking deal with. Smoking right next to me. Another thing that's keeping me awake and keeping me frustrated. I mean that and that that guy, you know, he deliberately and on purpose walked so close up on me when he got all this space over here and he of all spots he chose to walk so close that he was just about to step on me. And then it's hard for me to 
get to have anywhere I can use the bathroom. So, so yeah, I don't even want people smoking near me or smoking around me or nothing. Yeah, tell me why why he why he why isn't he sleeping over here on this side? Why they, why he's sleeping so close to me? You see, it's all empty over there. So he's sleeping a certain close distance by me. That's how I know he's a perp. That's how I know he's a perp. And then just randomly, all of a sudden, you have he has a, a whole empty space over on that side. And he comes sleep near me. And that's the second fucking night in a row. I mean, they must have sent that homeless perp to freaking monitor me or something like that and make me feel un terrified, uncomfortable, and unsafe. But, you know, I'm recording this to um, all this. I'm recording for documentation purposes in case anything fucking happened to me. Shut up! Both of them wearing a faded red shirt plus the one wearing a white shirt. So... I'm doing this for my freaking um my freaking documentation while they're getting louder and louder. Trying to drown out trying to drown me out. And that's that um Honda Element gang stalker that works at O'Reilly's. I mean, and that guy that's that stepped so close to my, so close to me when I was laying down, he probably he's probably an O'Reilly's employee. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. The one who I just um started filming that was across the street from me at the beginning of the video. I mean, you sitting there, he's on his phone for a long time. I grab my phone and then he walks and zoom in on him and then he walks off. But this is that um, Honda Element perp. If it got to take three or four videos, I'm, I'm going to freaking get them. Y'all see this freaking circus. I mean, I have a bachelor's degree. I'm college educated. I shouldn't have to be forced against my will to live like this because some evil person decide, falsely decides I'm fucking crazy. So. So you know what you're doing. And look, on the passenger side, got the elbow out the window. That's that Honda Element gang stalkers. Both of them on each side got their arm out the window. I got your license plate in another video. fucking ridiculous i mean i am crying out for permanent housing for a place a safe quiet place to live that's free from this gang stalking abuse and harassment they know they can give people permanent housing people who get disabled people who get social security and ssi or people with children, they they ought to be able to get to have guaranteed housing. 
Look at him showing off. So people um, with disabilities or women with children ought to be able to um, have guaranteed housing. I'm not talking about no freaking homeless shelter. I'm talking about, you know, a permanent, a permanent home, your own permanent place to live. You know, there should be like more government housing, you know, for disabled and elderly also yeah i forgot to say elderly disabled military vets and women with children you know or children you know we ought to be able to get guaranteed housing and we ought to have a right to um live in a safe quiet environment because with Section 8 and stuff, they put the disabled people with all the, the low-income criminals, the able-bodied low-income criminals. And how many times you're going to pass by? That's the fourth time that van has passed by. No, my stomach hurts really bad. I don't know if I have gas or not. Yeah, so I mean, I'm frustrated. I mean, I don't feel safe or comfortable with that perp over there being around the corner. The homeless perp over there with the bike. Like arm up, arm raised up in that car. See noise campaign. They're doing this on purpose. So the the guy who nearly that walked so close to me that he nearly intentionally tried to nearly step on me. <clears throat> he's not homeless, but I don't know if he looked like he just got off from work. But I'm trying to figure out why would he do something like that and then startle me and wake me up out of my sleep and then keep me awake and on guard for the rest of the night. Like when I questioned him and confront, confronted him, why would you do the, do something like that and then cuss him out? And he's like, good. Like he was proud to um, fuck over me. Now, if him, him doing that to me, me confronting him, the online purpose would have said, well, oh, Candy fucking with the wrong one. But if I would have done to, to, to somebody what he did to me, they still would have said the same thing. Candy fucking with the wrong one. Or is she going to fuck them with the wrong one one day? Either way, I'm, I'm, they, they corner it to where I'm in the position of being in the wrong. Whether it's done to me or I did it to them. I did it to somebody. You know, I just try to stay off to myself as much as possible. I don't want company, friends, or a circle anymore. I don't want company, friends, or a circle anymore. <clears throat> you know, I'm just trying to stay out of trouble, survive, and stay to myself. And, you know, I'm, I'm dying for a freaking permanent place to live by myself. I can't fucking live with roommates. I can't live with roommates with my kind of disability and my due to my targeting. The roommate dealing with the perp, I mean, being a perp and stuff. You know, people might be like, oh, y'all kill it. Y'all will kill each other up in that house. Yeah, I cannot do roommates. 
I need a, I need a stabilized, permanent home by myself, like when I was on Section 8, before they bullied me and ran me out of my house. Ran, I mean, ran me out of my Section 8 home. And running me out from this place, that place, that place. And I said people were saying that you got to diversify your income. That, well, people were saying that's, I mean, well, I've been trying to get a job all these years, though. But people say that Social Security and SSI is not meant for you to live solely off of that, that you got to have some, especially with inflation going on. I already see at restaurants, um, they're raising food prices on certain items, like certain dishes. They just changed the menu for the month of August or September. They just changed the menu. So, like, if something was twelve ninety five, they changed it to fourteen or fifteen ninety five. So, I mean, I came on here to report, you know, what's been going on, and um, I'm gonna try to go back to try to go back to sleep because I got very, very, very little sleep just before. He did what he did, more like as a punishment for trying to go to sleep. Like, how dare you sleep, or how dare you go to sleep? So they want to find fucked up, dirty, distracting things to do to keep me awake and keep me in fear and keep me in heightened fear and hypervigilant. And then call me crazy for being hypervigilant and overly careful and overly aware. See, they're hollering and screaming on purpose. Can y'all hear me? That's ignorant and screaming from the top of their lungs, acting stupid. They're having a the freaking time of their lives. Well, I can't even get any peace to freaking sleep. But they're having they're having a the party of their fucking lives. The illegal party of their fucking lives.